Hey, what's up? And welcome to another episode of Evie's Review. So, what you see here is a list of adapters for the Backbit Pro cartridge and a list of the supported features. Now, I've just made one improvement. You can see that I've added full disk support for the Tandy Color Computer 2 and 3. And so the game you're seeing here, this is Puyan. Now you see I press the button on the cartridge, it goes back to the menu, and I can select another disk image. So how about Seamus? So now I gotta look at the directory, and then I do a load M, which is like machine code. And then I load it and I do an exec as well. And check it out, Seamus. So as you can see here, I'm using an upside down PC Junior joystick, which I built an adapter for. And I've got two switches on this joystick. One switch controls if the buttons are activated high or low. And then the other switch controls if the potentiometers are connected to ground on one side. And so that way this joystick can support the Tandy, the Apple II, and the PC Junior with the red adapter, of course. Now, Backbit supports full reading and writing of pretty much all files on the Tandy disk format. I'm gonna be trying to add support for larger games like King's Quest, but I first have to install a 512K memory expansion in my Tandy Color Computer 3. So now I got Chucky Egg. And as you can see, I'm loading up the binary file here. I might add a feature to automatically just load the first file on the disk. Now, I know some people have been asking me for being able to support the Intellivision. And while video game systems weren't my first objective in doing the Backbit Pro, my first objective was computers. Um, there's a strong relation and I'm pretty much open. Like, I'm at the point where it doesn't take me that long to develop a new adapter. But basically, if there's any system you want Backbit to work on that it doesn't work on currently, I still have room in the firmware for quite a few more systems. The only thing is, I've already purchased like pretty much all these systems you've seen here using Backbit, except for my Sinclair, which I already had. So I really can't afford to be buying more and more systems, but if anybody wants to donate me a system, it doesn't even have to be in fully working condition. It can be a broken machine that needs repair. It could be cosmetically awful. I really don't care as long as it's something that I might be able to get up and running because as you've seen in some of my past videos, I have repair tools, I have the chip tester, I have replacement chips, and sometimes I make new replacement chips. So if anybody out there would be kind enough to donate or even possibly loan me a machine that I don't already have, I would love to make a Backbit Pro adapter for that machine. And if there's anything you want me to show 
the BackBit Pro cartridge doing on these machines, loading on these machines, or just, you know, any fond memory you have of these machines, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I got plenty more content where this is coming from. And as always, I'm going to keep developing new features and new products as there is demand for these things. And as there are people who are interested in reviving these old machines. So thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time on Evie's Review.